You want to learn how to make beats for Yee. I'm gonna show you today in collaboration with Andrew the Avatar, which is a crazy YouTuber. He's gonna break down how he made this melody, which I flipped. So now let's get to Andrew's FL Studio. Hello, Twizzies. So Pull Up George just hit me up to make a loop for a Yeet type beat, and this was a fun challenge. So I made this loop here, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did to make this, right? So first things first, uh, 140 BPM, just default BPM right when you open up FL Studio. And we've got all these different synths here, so we're gonna go through it. And then at the end, I just stemmed it all out, so that way uh, this is really good when anybody is using a loop, so that way that you can just slice up the loop and have all the different instruments and arrange it however you want. But basically, I'll go through each of these sounds one by one. So first we have the serum pad. This is really simple. It's basically just some uh, minor chords with um, well here let me show you how I did this so like if I pull this down here you can see like it was originally just a, a simple chord like this and then you just drop it a semitone and move it up an octave so yeah it's not too complicated and then it just sounds like this By the way, all of these uh, sounds come directly out of my brand new 8-fold serum bank, so make sure you tap in and pick up the 8-fold serum bank. Next we have this bass line. So basically this is just the lowest note in each of these chords, and again, uh, synth patches from the 8-fold bank. Then we have this uh, synth playing the high notes. And we have this kind of rage melody here as well. You can probably tell from the volume that it's sort of tucked into the back of the mix. We have some layers over here. So we have these chords again, and I wanna show you one more thing with these chords that should be really helpful. So I used uh, these scale helpers. So if you go up here into view and scale highlighting and choose uh, basically the scale you wanna work in. So this is E minor. That'll give you these helpers and then you just basically play on the white spaces here on the grid and so that'll help you stay in key but then again you know these chords just really simple chords like you know it's just don't overthink it just make simple chords they work well so while this loop is a bit more laid back we still need to have some sort of bell so we have this counter melody and then we also have a heavier bell that we'll get to in a second And finally, this bell. And this is what everything sounds like together. I hope you picked up something valuable from this. Now let's get back to pull up George for the cook up. Thanks for breaking that down, Andrew. Now my idea was to cook it up while filming it, but unfortunately the lighting wasn't too good. Yeah, I already made the beat basically, so I'm gonna break it down. Still, it's gonna be informative as always, you know what I'm saying? So first thing I did was I took all these stems like Andrew said, chopped them up so that I could still manipulate them. Here and there, I cut out some low end. Uh, I j did some auto pan still to make it even more wider. When I did that, I pitched it one semitone up and bumped the BPM up by three beats per minute. So that makes it a little bit faster. After I did that, I went straight to these 808s. There's always a pause between those notes. So I thought I'm gonna fill this in with the Chase the Money 808. That's a really nice way of going down in the scale to lead into the next section. Then in the second part, I have these Chase the Money 808s doing a little different thing. The nice thing about this Chase the Money 808 is that it really it's really functional and really a lot of octaves. So you can be real creative with bumping it up an octave, bumping it down one octave. It sounds really nice when it's, you know, muddy. 
uh, this 808. And that's, that's something very unique about this 808. In the second section, I let the Chase the Money 808 alternate with the, with the other 808, which is a plug 808. I boosted this up so that it would like have a little bit more aggressive feel in general. So let's listen to those two 808s in combination with each other. That's something really typical about Yi producers. They always have these kind of, not always, but they, they often, very often have these uh, kind of alternating 808 notes. I went straight to the heads. When you're making Yi beats, always remember to use this galloping pattern, which you can see over here. It's like the, you know, it feels like you're galloping on a part. Uh, feels like you're galloping on a horse, you feel me? And I uh, just added some rolls, added this little weird triplet roll. Use triplets, use 16s, try to try to mix them up. It really is really spicy in the end, but this is what it sounds like. That's really it. nothing more special to it, but I want to add some little more spice. So I'm going to grab a looperator, which is a very nice plugin if you just want to add some extra stuff uh, to your hi-hats. Then I added this really odd clap pattern. It's not like the most regular pattern. It's a lot more claps in there than just the usual uh, two and four, four count in context with the hi-hats. Then I played in a draw snare with, on my MIDI keyboard. So there's not really too much that I can explain about it. Just play it in by feel. You can do this on your keyboard. It's not too hard. Please just try it for yourself. After that, I added these generic open heads. But given the fact there were a lot, I'm gonna just delete them here and there. Let them bounce in the second part of this one. Now we're gonna fill this, this other part in with a bell. Because that's really typical about uh, making a yeet beat. You can see I tuned this bell up 22 centitons. Senti tones, the bell was just a little bit off and it's really important that it, everything in your beat is just right on. This is the skill that we're working with and now we're gonna try to fill in some bells. Add some delay to also add some extra, extra, extra rhythm into it. And I added this other riser, which is very 8-bit uh, game effect-like. By the way, if you don't have this riser and you really want it, it's available in my free drum kit, which is linked down below. I really want you to download it and check out for yourself if you like the sounds or not. Now we're going to listen to the whole beat on its own. I really love this beat I made with Andrew. Go check out his videos. Amazing breakdown in this video from you, bro. Love, and I hope I can catch you out in the next one. Peace out.